Hi, I'm Pete from the Medical Device and Vulnerable Skin Network. I'm Jackie from NHS Improvement Stop the Pressure programme. Device related pressure ulcers are becoming increasingly common across all care settings and all different age groups. Existing reports related to national databases of nursing quality of care have revealed a high incidence and seriousness of these device related harms. These ulcers can be complicated and harder to prevent than traditional pressure ulcers because the device may be an essential part of both the diagnostic and therapeutic treatment of the patient. However, in many cases, medical device related pressure ulcers are not reported and this has resulted in the absence of reliable information to improve patient care. It's important that the local and national reporting profile accurately reports the type of pressure ulcer and the damage that has been caused. In 2018, NHS Improvement updated its definitions to include categories that had previously gone unreported, included device-related pressure ulcers. Better understanding of pressure ulcers will enable local, national and international learning from incidents and the design of appropriate improvement work in response to their profile. In England, new policy has meant that trusts are now required to include device-related pressure ulcers on their incident reporting systems. Please check your own local and national reporting policy for these device-related ulcers. In addition, regulatory agencies such as the Medicines and Healthcare Products Regulatory Agency in the UK have reporting tools for adverse events related to medical devices. You can report more detailed information about the cause of pressure ulcers, including the type, size and manufacture of the device. This is really important information. If we could all document devices which are commonly causing skin damage, the regulatory agencies can enforce change on those companies, making devices which aren't fit for purpose, and ensure that we improve their design. Clinicians can also target preventative measures on devices which are known to cause issues to improve patient safety and lower the incidence of device-related harm.